People may think I am a lunatic. People may think I don't think. Peter walked on the water in the midst of the worst storm. Even when Jesus came on the scene and he was holding Peter's hand, it doesn't say the storm ceased. Peter never sang because of the storm. He sang because of his doubt. You will never sing as wrong as you obey God's word. My word, like what? Like a fire. Says the Lord. And, and this is what, don't even go further. This is what the Lord was speaking to me. The Bible says, isn't my word like what? Fire. Like fire. So, when does the word become fire? Somebody help me. When does the word become fire? When it's spoken. When it is spoken. So, the word in the Bible is not fire. Just written text. The Bible is telling you, it starts by saying, let the prophet who has my word speak the what? Word. The word. It tells you, isn't my word like what? Fire. Meaning, every time I speak the word, I'm releasing fire with my mouth. Every time you speak the word, you are releasing fire over your body. When you say, by his stripes I am healed, you are releasing fire to that virus, to that sickness. You are releasing fire. But it has to be released. The Bible says, isn't my word like what? Fire. Like fire. So every time you speak the word, you are releasing fire. But every time the word is not spoken. Anybody has ever seen a matchbox? Whether online or physically. <laughs> I know many of the missionaries have. This is, this is what we used to, to do. So, even if you carry a, match, uh, a matchbox in your, in your pocket, that matchbox, even if you shake it, even if, it can do anything. It can burn you. But you do not even need the whole box to get burned. All you need is a what? Is one match, one strike. If you make a strike, one strike can burn this whole complex. One, not two. If one is ignited, it can burn the whole complex. It can burn thousands and thousands of acres. One, not two. But even if you, you bring a truck full of matches and you dump it in, in this house, <laughs> on Sunday we'll still find the matches here and the house is safe. Meaning, it doesn't matter how much word is, is in your New King James, New Living. All those words are like matches in boxes. They become fire when you release them. Somebody say hallelujah. They become fire when you do what? That's why the devil doesn't want you to speak the word. That's why the devil wants you to quote CNN. NB. He wants you to quote the news. Because God, God will never confirm what Fox News said. God will never confirm what the internet said. He will never confirm his word. He, he is telling you, isn't my word. Like what? Fire. Fire. Somebody say 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 fire. Fire. I wish somebody can go to their house and release fire to the devil. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I wish somebody can go to their house and release what? Fire. 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 As you wash those dishes, release fire in those devils. As, as you take shower, release fire to those devils. As, as you eat, as you cook, nah. fire. Somebody say hallelujah. Isn't my word Isn't my word like what? Like a fire. Like, isn't my word like what? Like a fire. Isn't my word like what? Like a fire. Isn't my word like what? Like a fire. Can somebody release fire now? Fire. Let me give you two minutes to release fire to, to a situation in your life. Somebody, let, let me, let, let me give you a minute. Release fire. 
Hey, speak, speak. Release fire. Somebody release fire. Somebody say fire. 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 Fire. But as you say fire, you gonna have to say it shall be well with the righteous. It shall be well with my children. It shall be well with my job. It shall be well with my health. Yes, it shall be well with my health. Amen. Fire. Somebody say fire. Fire. Somebody say fire. Fire. Somebody say it shall be well with my children. It shall be well with my children. It shall be well. It shall be well. Somebody say it shall be well. It shall be well. Somebody say it shall be well with my health. It shall be well with my health. Somebody say it shall be well with my health. It shall be well with my health. Somebody say it shall be well with my health. It shall be well with my health. Mr. Corona will never get me. Mr. Corona will never get me. Mm, Mr. Corona. You will never get me, Mr. Corona. Never, never. Never, 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 never. Never. Never, never. There's a song we used to sing, Pastor Tracy, and I think we can sing that song. We can sing that to Corona. There's a song we used to sing, and I think it's, it's a good special for Corona. Which one? The one we say, uh, uh, You know, <laughs> The corona. We say this this special song is dedicated to Corona. So, so please, this is a, this is a, this is a special. We are dedicating it to who? To Corona. It's, it's a, corona. We are dedicating this special to you. So go ahead, my sister and my friend. Joruta Corona, eating a heart. Yes, you're not a girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think So, how do I burn in frame? By speaking the word of God. That's a revelation. Get it there. Amen. They see me burning with what? Because like every time I am walking out of my house, I am declaring no evil shall be fall on me. Amen. No plague shall come near my dwelling. Amen. One more time. Let's give it back to Corona. Nyamo joru ta Corona. Itingeho tak Sionagangia Kanamoaki Neko Humbo Ririwa For a situation to see you burning like fire, fire is only released through your mouth. Fire is released through your heart. You are declaring as my children go to school, they are coming back safe. Somebody say hallelujah. As I go to work, I'm coming back protected. Somebody say hallelujah. Other business may go down, but they're Proverbs 4, verse 18. Says what? What does it say? Proverbs 18, verse 4. Verse 18. The path, the path of the just is like a shining sun that shines brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until the perfect day. You know what I mean? I do not, I will never know a bad day in Jesus' name. You will never know a bad day in your life. Because tomorrow will be better than today. I'm telling you according to the word of God. Your tomorrow will be better than your today. My, look at this. Look at this. If you do, if, and look. That's why those people who are judging you by what they see right now have no clue. They are clueless. They are what? They are clueless. Because your best days are not behind you. My best is not behind. My friend. Woo! My friend. Look at this. You are, me. you are treating me because of what you see now. My friend. 
My friend, Joseph is ironing Potiphar's pants. Huh? Huh? Joseph, one day, is, is ironing Joseph's what? Potiphar's pant. One day, Joseph is washing the dishes of Mrs. First Lady. The next day, ma'am, he is taking what? Instruction from the same guy he imprecated of felony. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Treat me light so that you don't get ashamed tomorrow. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say please treat me light because tomorrow, tomorrow my friend, I may be the gatekeeper in the door that you need to pass. Somebody say hallelujah. One day, one day, Joseph is answering like a prisoner. Cover. Every day, two, two, cover. Cover, eh? cover. But the following morning, he had been given a haircut. And he has changed his clothes. And the Bible says he is now second in command. You are tomorrow will be better than today. Your tomorrow will be better than today. Uh, your tomorrow will be better. Look at the next statement. What does it say? And like a hammer that breaks the rocks. Meaning, the word of God will never break any situation if it's not spoken. Every time you speak the word, there is something it is doing. The principle of God is this. The word has to be believed in the heart and spoken with the mouth to do what? To produce result. The Bible says 2 Corinthians 4.13 Since we have the same, same spirit, spirit of, of faith, faith according, according to, to what, what is, is written, written, I believed therefore I, I spoke. spoke. We, we also believe and, and do what? Therefore speak. We therefore believe and then do, do what? Therefore speak. So every time you believe something. My sister, speak it. Somebody say hallelujah. If you believe it, speak it. Look, look at this. Sometimes we are asking ourselves, will people think I'm crazy? Let me tell you, my sister, whether you speak or, or you don't, they already think you are crazy. <laughs> whether you speak the word or not, they, they have already rated you as, as a what? As a, as a crazy lady. So, my sister, say what God has said. Because God's commitment is not to people's opinion. He is committed to his word. Somebody say hallelujah. What about if people think that I am arrogant? They already do, my sister. So, whether they think you are arrogant or not, somebody say hallelujah. Let me, somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say Hallelujah. If I come here and I say I am man, am I arrogant? My sister, what is your gender? You are a female. You are not afraid to say you are female. Because you are female. You are not neutral. You are what? You are a female. I am a male. You are a female or a male. You, you don't even have to, co to go confirm. You already know. Do you feel like you are going to offend somebody, Mr. Kishaka, by saying you are a male? Will you feel that there is somebody who is going to get offended? Because that's who you are. Every time you are saying what the word of God has said, don't be concerned about who thinks what. Because already you are saying who you are. If you are saying, I am blessed, I will never be poor. You are not proud. You are only saying what God has said in his word. That poverty is a curse. Somebody say hallelujah. The word of God itself. Why? We'll be answering. We'll see where we go. But we'll be answering this question. Why do we need to speak the word of God faithfully? Number one. The word of God is creative. The word of God is what? Creative. That's number one. He put number one on it. It's number one. The word of God is what? Creative. Creative. That is to mean. Hebrews 11 verse 2. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen, we, no, 
the things which are seen, seen were are not, not made. made of things which are visible. So you know what the Bible is saying? What is the Bible saying? Anybody help us? <laughs> Somebody help us. What is the Bible saying? From, from not from what I think, but from the word that is on the screen. What is the Bible saying? The things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So, they were made by what? By the world. So, if the word of God made everything, even today, it can make what I need. Let me say that again. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the word of God created my liver, it can make me another one. Uh, I wish you got that one. If the word of God created my kidney, it can make me another one. Hiya. Somebody say hallelujah. Have you ever gone to the manufacturer? When do they ask you? If you go, if you go take your car, Mr. Wealthy, to the Lexus people, what do they tell you? What is the ear and the model? The ear? The ear and the model. Whatever you need for that car, as long as you have the ear and the model, you'll get it. Let me tell you, my friend, each one of us has a ear and a what? And a model. So if I'm missing a part, heaven is able to overnight. <laughs> heaven is able to do what? To, because the Bible says everything was created by the world. So the same world that created, I can speak it to create it again. How did God create the world? The Bible says, and God said, let there be. So whatever I am missing in my life, I can speak it. I can create it. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Whatever is racking in my life, I can proclaim it. I can speak it. The word is creative. The Bible says the word is, is the power of God. Look at Jeremiah 32, 17 we read. Ah, uh, uh, Lord God. Lord God, behold, behold you, you, have made, made the you have made the heavens and, and the, the earth, earth by your great power and, and your outstretched, outstretched arm. arm. There, there is, is nothing. nothing too hard for you. There is nothing. There is what? Nothing too, too hard, hard for, for you. There is nothing too hard for you. So how did God make the earth? Somebody help us. <laughs> the Bible has said, how did he make it? How did he make it? By what, what did he use right there to make it? Great power. His great power. His great power. Okay, now hold, hold that thought. Let's go to John 1. 1 and 3. In the beginning was, was the world. God, and the God world was, was with God. God and the word, word was God. He was in the beginning. All things were made through him and without, without him, him nothing, nothing was made that, that was, was made. made. So, let's, let's get this straight right here. The Bible says, God made the world by his power. John is telling us that in the beginning, God made the world through what? Using what? Great power. Huh? Jeremiah is telling us he used what? His power. John is coming and telling us what is the power of God? His yeah. word. So, my friend, I know there are many people who are asking and praying God for what? Power. For more power. I need more power. My friend, what you need is not more power. What you need is the word. Because the word is the the, the, con, the, 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 uh, the compendium. That's, that's the right English word. It's the compendium or the container that carries God's word. Every time you have the word of God, you have God's power. Every time you speak the word in a situation, what are you speaking? The word. The word. The, the word. The word. The word. <laughs> 
Someone to say glory, glory, hallelujah. There's a, sometimes there's a prayer, I remember we pray. And I'll not pray it in, anymore. Because now I have this revelation. What do we pray, Pastor Tresia? Huh? What do we pray? Lord, stretch your what? What do we tell God? Lord, stretch your hand and touch my family. Now, God is telling you, he doesn't know how have to do it. He's telling you, his word is his power. Open your mouth and speak his word over your family. Don't, don't tell God to stretch his hand. Whatever you want to see in your family, whatever you need to see happen in your city, open your mouth and speak it. As you speak, you are pronouncing God's power over the situation. Somebody celebrate that? From today, my friend, don't, don't tell God to stretch his hand. Speak his word. Somebody say hallelujah. The other one looks better and religious. The one for stretch your hand and, and do this. Look better and religious. But the, the, the accurate scripture position right now says, when you speak your word over the situation, you are now declaring, victory, and saying the purpose of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus himself is the word. Jenna, Revelation 19, verse 13, we read. He, he was, was clothed, clothed with, a robe with a robe dipped in blood. Dipped in blood. And his name is called the and word And his name is called who? The word of God. And his name is called who? The word, the word of, of God. God. And his name is called who? The word of God. Jesus is called who? The word, word of God. So every time I am speaking the word, who am I speaking? Jesus Christ. Because uh, uh, let me tell you, and I'll show you something that God gave me a revelation. Let, let's, because we, we are, this has to tie in. Let's look at uh, that uh, John 14, 13. <laughs> John 13, 14, 13, we read. And whatever you ask, in my name, I will do that the Father may, may be, be glorified, glorified in, in the, the Son. Son. <laughs> From time we grew up, what are we, what are we told? When, when we read the scripture, whatever you ask in my name, what are we told? Somebody help us. Uh, help us. Sunday school student. We were told in every prayer you pray, make sure at the end, you say what? We, uh, we pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. So the name of Jesus, now we, we, we are using the name right there on the end. So you say, and uh, I was listening one time to, to <laughs> Dr. Myers Monroe say that sometimes People have used the word of Jesus the, like a genie. So every prayer I pray, all this we pray in the name of Jesus. So, and people think that if, if I pray and I don't mention, say, in the name of Jesus, the prayer will not be answered. Let me now bring some right to you. Because I'm not saying don't pray in the name of Jesus. But the scripture told you in Revelation 13. What? 1913. He, he, he is the what? The word of God. He is the what? The word of God. Jesus is the word of, of God. God. So, now come and read John 14 from Revelation. And whatever you ask, in mm -mm, my name. don't put my name. Whatever you ask, now, we have said, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are students, we have said very well that Jesus Christ is the world. And now here, we are praying. The Bible is saying what? And whatever you ask 
in according to the word of God, it will be answered. So, it's not about mentioning the name of Jesus after every prayer. Or we pray for this food in Jesus' name. We pray in Jesus. And I'm not saying don't use the name. No, no. What I'm saying, the concept of praying in the name of Jesus is praying according to the word of God. God can only answer what he has said in his word. So, the words are a spirit and they are life or death, depending on from what, where they are coming. John 6.63, 6, 6, we read. It is the spirit. It is the spirit. Who gives life. Who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak they to are, you are spirit and they are life. The Bible doesn't say that the words have spirit or they have death. The Bible says, the words I speak, they are what? They are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. And they are life. Let me say that again. Words are spirit. And if they are spoken by a mouth, from the mouth of God, they are life. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. That's why, because words are spirit, somebody can speak to you from India. And what they are speaking to you is affecting you. You can be speaking to somebody from, from India and you're laughing. Somebody can be talking to you from Kenya and what they are telling you, you are crying. You're not crying because, because of the phone. Because the words have a spirit. And spirit do not have a distance. So, words are spirit. So, every time I speak the word, I am, speak, I am infusing a spirit in the situation. And the Bible says... They are life. So, every time I speak negatively, I'm, I'm speaking dead. But that's not us. The Bible is saying, every time, every word spoken by you and me, they are lives and they are dead. People may think I'm a lunatic. People may think I don't think. Peter walked on the water in the midst of the worst storm. Even when Jesus came on the scene and he was holding Peter's hand, it doesn't say the storm ceased. Peter never sang because of the storm. He sank because of his doubt. You will never sink as wrong as you obey God's word.